buildings at the Kennedy Space Center. The Vehicle Assembly Building is the second biggest building in the world. It's where the shuttle and rockets are assembled. And it's so tall that clouds are said to form around the top. You can take any of the vertical stripes of the American flag and this bus will easily drive down it. This is the Space Shuttle's external tank, 154 feet long and 28 foot in diameter. It carries oxygen and hydrogen and weighs 1.68 million pounds on takeoff. Such is the scale of the vehicle assembly building that even the largest components of modern spaceflight look like scale models, toys tucked into the corners of the building. This is where no tourists are allowed. Launch pad 39A, just two days after the shuttle launch. If you've ever been aboard some type of Navy ship, a battleship, a cruiser, a destroyer, it looks a lot like that inside. It's got the big steel doors that slam shut. And inside, this mobile launch platform is computers, support equipment with pumps, there's generators, there's tanks. And and in a way, it's its own little city that travels with the shuttle that sits on top of that. The shuttle has such an immense amount of power coming out of the solid rocket boosters and the liquid engines that the concussion waves would just knock everything apart out here. So that entire water tower dumps in about 30 seconds. So when the flames come down from the engines, some of that energy is dissipated by turning instantly into steam. It's a way to suppress the sound. It's quite ingenious. We've seen things that the majority of people are never ever going to see. You know, it's, it's, it's quite emotional, really. I'm glad we're filming this because nobody believes us.